Well, everyone, a question that I see all the time is what happens when your iPhone battery health gets extremely low? So I'm not talking if your iPhone battery health gets, you know, down to like 95% or 93%. I'm talking about if your iPhone battery health gets down to like 50%, 45%, 55%, basically half or maybe even like 60, 70% of your specific iPhone battery health. Now, the way to kind of think about this is that there's a lot of different things that happen in between you actually, you know, having your battery health on your iPhone at 100% and when it goes down to 70, 60%. By the time it's down at those levels, either you've taken very, very bad care of your particular iPhone battery health, or, which is most likely, your iPhone is just extremely old and it's just at a very, very low level of, you know, battery. Now, personally for me, I do have a couple iPhones that are already around like 70 something percent, even in the 60s. I have an iPhone success that is roughly around like 60% battery health. And basically what happens to these particular iPhones is that they have the randomest issues that come up. The first thing is, is that the iPhone battery life, so that battery percent that you see is so uncalibrated that if you plug it in for one second it'll randomly you know power on it will say it's charging and it's at like two percent you look back at it and it'll be at like 35 percent within like three seconds or within like five minutes it is very very weird these iphones don't even have like that fast of charging so it's very weird that this particular iphone you know jumps at those levels now also at the same time it'll be at 100 battery life and within like 10 minutes, it'll be down to like 70% battery life. The reason why that happens is because these batteries just aren't as calibrated at those levels. And so you just end up, you know, getting these iPhones that have very spotty battery life. And it's a very annoying thing. It's very hard to know how much battery life you actually have inside of your device. Now, another thing that happens when your iPhone battery life or battery health gets very low is that your iPhone battery life gets worse. Because it's not at that full capacity anymore, you're actually having an iPhone that is going to be at way worse battery life than before. So that is going to be another issue that you're probably going to run into from that specific perspective as well. Now, on top of that, your iPhone battery health, if it gets down to a certain level, let's say it is around like that 70%, your iPhone performance is actually going to go down way more. Your iPhone performance isn't going to be at that same level that it was at 100%. And there's a reason why this, you don't want to have, you know, you don't want to have random shutdowns and all that. So Apple basically will throttle the performance of your iPhones if your battery health actually gets down to a very low level. So that basically what happens when your iPhone battery health gets very low. This is different than when your battery life gets low. If your battery life gets low, your iPhone will basically just shut off and you just power back on. But if your battery health gets low, again, you're going to have to just replace that battery and there's not really too many options that you have there. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soul then.